Hello everyone, this is Lady Nick, your social media red guide for TOC Town Express. And welcome back for the second episode of Sunday Planner Startup. And in this episode, I want to talk about the essential <laughs> planner for basic beginners and video bloggers for just pretty much everything that you're going to need to take care of in your new venture. If you're a beginner and you're just starting out, yes, you can use cell phones, you know, you can use your tablets, your computers, but I can't stress enough how paper planners have been just integral in what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in planning forward. So because the Aaron Condren hourly was 35% off this summer, I decided to pick it up for some events that I'm planning for not only th the fall season, but also for 2018. So I can go ahead and use the previous months, you know, that have passed to keep scheduling out video blogs, you know, and it's a more economical way to solve a big challenge of, you know, different elements that need to come together in order to produce a video. So we're going to get more into that as the, you know, season progresses. But the first tip that I want to offer you for this episode is putting together a tray or a kit where you can reach for it, you know, and pick up your tools of whatever you choose to use to film. Like, I've been using this Cool Picks Nikon for years. In fact, I think this is the first one that I started with, if it wasn't my Kodak. But this one has a display screen. And also, you need to check <laughs> if it's charged and if you have your SD card in before you schedule your uh, video blog or whatever, even B footage if you're um, going to be filming or um, talking to the camera. So I want to show you the difference in, like you see the lighting is coming from my cell phone camera, but the benefits of having a separate camera is that's actually the natural lighting coming from, illuminating from the instrument so or the tool. So choosing your instruments is going to be vital because especially in Chicago a lot of the fall days are you know <laughs> overcast and you lose a lot of that lighting so what do you do in if you're not ready to invest in a studio set where lights and everything are you know accessible to you then using a whiteboard or like I have an old white shelf that I use to film my video blogs on and it brings a lot of light to the elements. Like you see this tape that I'm uh, getting ready to share with you. Like it's a vintage look that I want to be doing for not only an event that I'm planning, but some of the plan with me videos that I want to be doing for 2018. The colors are lighter. If you watch my previous video when I shared with you about the Etsy shop, that when you see like what depending upon what kind of image you want to project then it's going to dictate what kind of equipment you're going to use but i don't want to get too much into technical <laughs> equipment i just want to use this time as a basic tips and tools for when you're starting to video blog so no you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars but if you have access to it you know and you can go ahead and pay it off you know debt free then by all means do so but just to let you know you can use your cell phone even if it's not um tied to a calling plan you can still use it to film and voice record your video blogs you can use a separate camera like i just shared with you and what i'm doing showing you now is i'm setting aside a caddy for my planners Whereas that when I'm filming and working at the same time, I have what I want to use in the planner at 
hand like it's a keyhole operation and what that means is when you step into the uh, place everything is at arm's reach so I don't have to go searching which washi tape am I going to use for that plan with me it's already there and what I decided to do was make it you know holiday based because I do love writing with pen and paper so a lot of the times I'm always using stamps and vintage type you know uh, backdrops to my cards that I make so why not have the equipment sitting right there pack it the night before or the week before at least you're not searching for things and a lot of that is time management that's wasted or you know or recovered when you're pressed for time so therefore you are not you know wasting any time it's not in vain but make sure it's visible when you need it. I like using a straight edge. So I picked this up at Staples in Chicago. So I packed that in the caddy. And the caddy was just like an old gift that my mom no longer uses. So I decided not to throw it away. But you know put my stencils in there. And this one makes a great one when you're uh, using the smaller like field note size. And also, which I'll talk about later, is I have a micro size planner as well. So, well, you call a planner's planet. What do you expect? <laughs> so, of course, if you have any questions about what I present, it's always um, best to leave them in the comment section down below. You can always direct message me and, you know, let me know what you think. You know, if you have ideas of what I can store in my caddy that you don't see in this video and then let me know that in the comment section down below as well I put everything clips you know my stylus sometimes when I have you know lotion on my hands <laughs> I get tired of wiping the screen a lot so then I just you know pull out my stylus so that I can use my tablet and that is a clip that I decided to put washi on for the holidays so I'm going to try and add that to one of my planners. So anytime that I need a pen while I'm on the go, then I just attach the clip to it. I don't have to look for a clip and the stylus can fit right along with it. See, makes it simple and easy. A lot of times when you're doing beginners, a lot of people are giving you a lot of different advice and you have to do what fits you best. So what I'm offering you is something that I've done for years, you know, so I pretty much have put together my office and studio based on what I need at the moment and then change out for the next season. And those are some of the inserts, the top tab project life cards that I'm going to be working with throughout the whole fall season. So those are my tips that I have for you for now. Let me show you some of the pins that I'm going to be using for the holiday season. So I took a cup that had a crack in it <laughs> and turned it into a display case. So anytime I'm reaching for a pin, then it's right there. That's a mechanical pencil. My Micron in a pink. And yes, I know I have to let go of the pink eventually before the winter hits. <laughs> I have a basic black. I think that's a 0.5. My Uniball Signal, which is a gel pen. Writes great and smooth on any textured paper. And of course, a Pilot G2 pen, but I decided to pick up a pack from Costco. So they come in red, blue, and black. And of course, for the holidays, I chose to use a more neutral uh, holiday festive color as opposed to switching out. You know, every time I do a video blog, I just pick one color, shake it up, <laughs> and I'm ready to go. So, and I don't know if you know this, but you know, when your nails are not done, it's not that every single video, they have to be pristine, but just take a moment to do your nails, you know, once a week. And of course, I'm speaking primarily to women, you know, fellas, you know, you do what you got to do to do your videos. So make sure your hands are clean, of course. And that's just a little fragrance. Sometimes in the office, it gets kind of, you know, interesting. 
But that's my speck of fun, which I'll be talking about in episode number three. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you next week as we continue on with Sunday Planner Startups Season 8, New Beginnings.